Hey there everyone, Hatesh here back again with another video and in this video we are going to be again rocking with sketch. We will be designing two simple icons so without wasting any more time, let's get into it. So let me bring up my sketch file here, there we go, my nice and awesome lovely sketch file. By the way all of the other icons are still here so let's just leave them. I will be giving you this file once we complete all of that. So here are the two icons, very, very simple to design. The one is amazing, lovely, beautiful sun. And another one is lovely, beautiful moon. And I will show you some of the neat tricks with the moon as well, as well as some with the stars as well. It's not easy to figure them out just by looking at, at this level. But if you look at, notice how nice shadows are and on the stars as well, but they are different shadows. So command one again to get back on here. So first of all, let's just press uh, Let's just go zoom this way. So we want to design, first of all, this uh, sun here. That is actually pretty easy to design. So let me show you how we are gonna do that. First of all, we're gonna have an artboard. So let's just have an artboard of size 500 by 500. There we go. We need a circle, so press O, and I'm gonna hit my Option key. Uh, no, my Shift key, <laughs> so that I can have a nice perfect round circle. So what is the circle here? 255 by 255. Sounds good. And just check mark the border and what I'll be doing is I'll be picking up this color. So I will be selecting this fill and color picker. I'll be picking this one. This is by the way is E7 B215. There we go. Okay. Now the next thing that what we will be doing is we need a rectangle. Yes, for those rays, we need a rectangle. So we're gonna have a really nice teeny tiny rectangle. And okay, so this is it. Obviously, remove the borders. I don't like them at all. So this is like 14 and the height is like uh, 52. I'm gonna go for 60 for the height. Uh, I think 60 is nice. And I'm gonna keep it at the center, okay. Now, uh, what we want to do is select this guy and for the corner radius, since our size is 14 a width and 60 height, so we're gonna make it a corner radius of seven. Now what this seven will does, it will make it a perfect roundish corner because the width is 14, so half of that is the radius to make it a perfectly round. Let me zoom that a little bit so that you can see that. So this is what I'm talking about. Okay, let's get zoom out. And oops, command one again, okay. Press the Z key and let's focus that again. Now what we have to do is make sure it is somewhere around like 20 pixel away from this circle. And we're gonna select this guy, select the rotate copies, it's the most fun one. And we need actually like 12 copies of that. I already have one, so I'm gonna get 11 more. And there we go. And I'm gonna just increase the radius here a little bit like that. If you want a little bit more copies, no problem. You can get more copies at all, no problem at all. So we're gonna be selecting something like that. Okay, just eyeball it a little bit. And then select this guy, uh, this rectangle shape here, and we're gonna fill that up with exactly the same color. There we go, nice and beautiful. And I can even select both of the shapes here, and I can just center them just like that. Okay, there we go. Use these buttons to align them wherever you like. And that's pretty much it, that's you got. Now obviously you can increase or decrease the size of the circle however you like. Oops, Command Z. Make sure you press down the Option key as well, Option and Shift, so that it increases on its same size. And there we go, nice and easy. That was pretty dope and pretty easy one as well. Okay, so this is one is done. Now let's move on to this shape, which is next icon is the moon icon. Pretty easy to have it. Again, have an artboard. And this one is also gonna be like 500 by 500, there we go. And what do we need? We need an oval, so press down your shift key so that you can have a nice, amazing circle. And just like always, you know that border, uh -uh. we're gonna remove that. Okay, now what you need to do is press down your alt key or your option key and click and drag. It's gonna create a copy and first of all, just let go of your mouse and then your option key. Okay, now what you want to do is select both of these shapes and click on subtract. There we go. And if you think that this is like too thin on the crust here, uh, you can always double click on these combined shape and you can, oops, you can release that a little bit. 
I can just select this guy and can use my arrow keys to have it something like that. Now, no matter how much you're gonna be shifting it, it doesn't really matter. And it's not gonna look beautiful until and unless you select that shape and hit rotate. Now, this rotation actually gives a little bit feeling of like moon-ish. I don't know how it does that, but until and unless you rotate that, uh, it doesn't really give that much feeling. So once you rotate that something like a little bit like seven-ish degree or eight-ish degree, then I think personally it looks better to me, okay. And the next thing, we need a few stars. Luckily in this, we do have stars. So go into shape and the star and we're gonna have a star. Hold down your shift key so that we can have nice beautiful star. Now remove the border here and for these stars, actually you can play around with their points and radius. Uh, right now I have five, but if you wish like something like that crazy, you can always go ahead with that. And I'm gonna go with five because I think that's more beautiful. For the radius, I'm gonna shrink it a little bit so that it looks like like pointy stars. I like pointy stars, not the fat one like that. So I'm gonna go something like 37% looks pretty good to me. Okay, and now the fun part is select this guy and we will be selecting the same color here. So let me show you that. And we will be selecting that and there we go. So this is like 2780E1. And same goes for this guy. So select this and again 2780E1. Now here comes the interesting part. Let me just zoom it here. So select this shape, which is now a combined shape and we are gonna be giving it inner shadows. Now inner shadows are beautiful. They don't consume anything outside the shape. Uh, they come sit inside and gives a little bit embossed feeling there. So I like that. And for the stars, I don't like much of the inner shadows in the star. I like the outer shadows on the star. It gives a feel that it is being like popping up from the screen and this is going inside the screen. So it gives a nice and amazing feeling. And hold down your option key and we're gonna create a copy this, copy this star a little bit like that onto the downside. Oops, Command Z. And make sure you, re you release the mouse first and then your option key. And there we go. If you want to change it a little bit like that, you can have it. And I'm gonna move that a little bit, something like that. I'm holding down my shift key and playing around with the arrows. You can also just place it like that. So I think that looks beautiful. So hit command one and there we go. Without any do, without any much more time consuming, this is all here. Now I'm gonna hit it to, oops, not that, command Z. And I want to combine all of them, command G to group them all. And then I can actually move them onto a center-ish way and there we go also for this guy as well oval and rectangle command g to group them so that i can center them uh, like uh, this guy and this guy there we go okay so this was all pretty much fun stuff about designing two more icons and just like this we'll be designing two more in the next video so that's it and i'm going to surely catch you up in the next video and hey if you haven't yet subscribed to my youtube channel go ahead and subscribe there as well